What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a very simple fur technique by drawing a squirrel. Let's begin by laying out the basic building blocks of the squirrel. So we move to a side grip. Using the flat edge of our pencil, let's sketch a small circle on the top right side of our page. So we start from the very top of our circle, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's add some guidelines inside that circle. Starting from the very top, draw a straight line coming down the middle, and then we'll go across from left to right. Let's add another guideline across the bottom of our circle, coming in toward the left, and then all the way out towards the right side. Now from here, we're gonna slope down the front edge of the head. Starting from the top right, angle this down and out to right about there. Angle this down and back in towards that bottom line. Let's sketch a small circle on the right side of the head. So going all the way around and back up. And it'll block out the ear on top of the head. From that center line, curve this up and over toward the left. Come all the way around and then back in toward that center line. Let's round up the side of the jaw. Starting from the base of the ear, it's gonna go around and just pull that in towards that bottom point. Let's layer another circle on the bottom left side of the head. So we're gonna start right here, go all the way around, then back up towards the top. Now you wanna bring the arm coming down and then back up in front of the face. So from this line, sketch a circle all the way around. Let's go to the left side of this circle, curve the arm coming down, and then just bend that up toward that smaller circle. Now from here, I'm gonna work our way towards the back. Starting from the top of the head on the left side, draw a straight angle line coming down and out. And then we wanna round out the back. I'm gonna go across, round this out, come down and in towards the bottom of the feet. Let's add a line across the bottom, going out towards the left and then the right side. Now directly underneath the arm on the left side, I'm gonna curve the leg coming down and then bending that in towards that bottom line. Step out and draw that again. Let's add the feet along the bottom. Starting from the bottom of the leg, curve this up and then down. Go to the right side and draw the same thing. Now from here, we're gonna layer the tail in behind the body. Let's start from the very bottom. It's gonna curve the tail going out, round up the side, and just pull that in. And now we wanna curl the tail around the top, starting from the top of the body, going up, pull this around, and then back in towards the side. Now that we have the basic shape of our drawing, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, we're gonna to move to the tip of our pencil and start adding some details and refining the shape. Let's start with the eye. Starting from the very top, it's gonna to darken this up, coming around towards the front, rounding out the bottom. I'm just gonna add a small point along the top and the inside of the eye. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side. And we'll go in and darken up the eye, coming in towards that highlight. I'm just gonna lightly shade the bottom of the highlight and fade that up just soften up the outside of that highlight. Now we're gonna move up and add some more shape to the ear. Start by going up toward the top and just rounding this out. Come down the side and then fade that back in. Now I'm just gonna lightly add some more shape to the head. Just rounding up the top and 
and down towards the nose. Round up the tip of the nose. We'll add in the nostril. And just pull this down towards the mouth and the cheeks. I'm going to go back and lightly add in the ear along the back, just tucking that in. And then drawing the front of the arm and in towards the paw. Let's refine the shape of the arm. Down and up. I'm just going to add the back hand in behind, just separating out the palms. Now going back up, we're just going to add some more shape to the body. Just rounding out the hard edges. I'm just using these short lines to trace out the body. Now using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to darken up the bottom straight line going across and just shade that in to create a shadow. Now I'll move back to the side edge of our pencil. Now we're just going to add some texture along the front edge of the leg. So starting across this line, we're just pulling this up and in, adding some texture and some shadows. And just lightly fade that up towards the top, towards the arm, and then we'll darken up the back side. And again, just adding those fur texture lines going across the back. Now the arm is going to cast a shadow across the top. I'm just going to darken this up and lightly fade that down. And we're also going to darken up the inside. Now I'm going to do the same technique across the tail. Starting along the bottom, we're just pulling these out and up. Just working with the curve of the tail, just staying within that boundary line. Now, as we come up towards the top, we're just going to bend these out. And we're just going to work our way around the outside. And just pulling these lines coming up and in to create a soft texture along the outside. And you start to point these up and out. Now going back down, we're just going to separate out the toes. We're going to start adding a base layer of fur across the body, starting with the head, these short lines using the side edge of our pencil. So starting along the top of the head, working our way down towards the nose. And just adding that light shade inside the body. Working our way back up towards the ear. And lightly shading the ears. I'm going across the top of the shoulder, coming down. Now we want to work with the curve of the arm. So we're just going to bring this back in. And I'm going across the top of the arm towards the paw. Go back and add that same texture inside the body. And we'll lightly shade in the toes. Adding that same treatment to the tail, starting along the bottom, and just working our way up towards the top. Now I'm going to start to angle that texture coming down across the tail. Now that we have our base layer, we're going to go in and add a little bit of detail to the mouth. 
He's going to tip our pencil, just adding a little bit of fur texture across that edge. And then we'll shade in the front of the nose, and we'll just blend that out. And then we'll just darken up that shadow and that fur along the top, and just blending that down. So darken up that trim around the eyes. And with the tip of our pencil, we're just adding a little bit of fur texture and shading along the inside. And I want to extend that fur texture across the edge of the head, just pulling these up and out, and just blending that in towards the face. spots across the muzzle and we'll continue to add that fur texture around the hands starting with that outside edge just pulling it up and in and then we'll just lighten up that texture along the inside I'm going to go back and just add a shadow across the bottom of the arm, the side edge of our pencil, using that same technique of adding that fur. We can just overlap the edge of the arm. And we'll just soften that out as we go up. Let's continue adding that pattern across the body. Starting from the very top and just working our way towards the back. And you want to try to create an even shade across the body. And then we can always go back and add some detail and shadows after.
Now you want to leave a patch of white fur along the front of the leg. So continue along the bottom. And then from the front of the leg, we're just going to add a little bit of texture along the outside just to help separate the front and back leg. And we'll extend that fur across the back leg, coming down and out. And then going back and adding a little bit more detail and definition to the fur. Going to darken up the bottom of the body and then fade that out as you come up. I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to soften up that fur and shadow. Darken up that fur across the back, and again, just fading back down. Now, just adding a few darker spots inside the fur. I'm just going to add a shadow across the front edge of the tail. So just darken this up and just fade that out towards the left. And then with the tip of our pencil, I'm just going to refine that for a texture around the outside. And then just working our way in. Now this final pass, we're just going to go back and increase our contrast and add a little bit more detail.
Now as we near the end of our drawing, we're gonna tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail, and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a squirrel. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.